Hello, hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. But yes, we're back. Didn't take all that long for us to be back one day, but you know. Anyway, I say that as though I, you know, wasn't exactly planning to be here and hadn't exactly said that I was going to be here. Anyway, so, Art Nights, tonight. Continuing Rainbow Six events. But yeah, I think the runtime of this event is a little bit shorter than that of the other one. I had considered taking the night off, but then I decided, you know what? I'll just put in a little bit of time. Just a little bit. I can spare that much. But yes. So, let's see. Not a whole lot of business. So yes, tonight we're going to play some Rainbow Six... Nope, hold on. Arc Knights with Rainbow Six characters. Yes. But yes. Tomorrow, I will see. It, uh, we are set for... Yeah, we are scheduled for a collab. Things can happen, though. You know how it is. Um, but yes. I will confer with chefs and we will see what happens. I suppose I could always, like, ask ahead of time. Probably part of some of the issues that we have is that I almost exclusively ask whether things are going to happen, like, a few hours before the stream starts, by which point, if there is any, you know, anything has come up whatsoever, it is entirely too late to reschedule anything. Anyway. Oh. Um, but yes, beyond that, Saturday will probably be streaming. I said I was going to take Saturday off, but I already have Saturday off work, so... I can survive, I think. But yes, so... I think that would make that possibly the first time that I've... Yeah, first time that I've streamed six times in a week, potentially. That's a scary thought. Mostly because I still have all of the VODs from uh, the entire entirety of uh, Originium Dust. Or not Originium Dust, that's what we're doing tonight. The entirety of uh, the other event. The future event that we have already done. But yes. I already have all the, or I still have all the VODs of that that still need to go up and all that. And it's not too terribly difficult, but it's, it's a lot to do all at once. So, probably they'll go up fairly slowly. I suppose they usually go up fairly slowly anyway. But yes. So, that will be that. I hope to get those, start uploading those again next week. But yeah, because again, I will, or rather, yeah, I will probably, probably start doing that on Saturday. Editing those on Saturday. But yes. So, that is that. Not a whole lot to be said otherwise. So, once again, tonight, Arc Knights. Tomorrow should be the collab, if not, more Arc Knights. And then Saturday, more Arc Knights. I don't intend to keep up this, this uh, pace long term, just to be clear. But, for the sake of timed events, I will make many sacrifices. Including ones that probably don't necessarily need to be made, but... I would rather have a lot of free time at the end of the event than have to rush to the end of the event. But yes. So, that is that. Hold on. Okay, tonight? Now. Yes. Tomorrow should be around 9.30 p.m. Central Time. Saturday stream should be around, uh, should be around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. There we go. But yes. I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit more tired than I was expecting. <laughs> I was definitely, I was definitely, I am definitely tired today. I don't think it's terrible, but it is definitely a bit of a thing. Anyway, so, one way or the other, video games. Arc Knights. But yes, so. Ah, I suppose another, another note on, on the topic of Arc Knights. I do still need to get the Estelle Spotlight worked on, and now that I have full control, most, well, not full control, but 
I would say about 75% control of my other arm. But yeah, I should be able to clean that up a little bit, edit it, make it, you know, make my notes something a little bit more presentable. Something I can actually read. Um, yeah. So that shouldn't take too long, but it's not a high priority right now. So it might be a little ways out regardless. But yeah. So, you can see, we've made some revisions to the team. Yeah, once again, we are keeping with the theme, using operators that are relevant to the event. But yes, in that in this case, the original members of Team Rainbow from Originium Dust. Yes, we already have had them for a while. We saw them at the end of, uh... Yeah, we saw them at the end of... What was it? I always forget... I always forget the name of the event, even though we were playing it yesterday. Um, the other one. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to devote the brain resources to figuring it out. But yes, the other Rainbow Six event. We've already seen them a little bit. We've already seen them in action. We saw them during the Monster Hunter event. You know how it goes. But yes, a lot of the other units on our team are units that we have seen before. In fact, all of them are, with the exception of Hayes and Sora, I do believe. Most of them being uh, mainstays of the team at this point. But yes. So, I figured I want to do some things that are a little bit different from what I, what I have been doing. Maybe not necessary, but experimentation keeps, keeps you sharp, improves your tactical abilities. But yes. So, Rope, as we have seen, is a Hookmaster. So she is able to pull enemies in and hold them in place for a time. Yes, Hayes is a core caster, so she is a single target caster. Yes, Gray we've seen. Savage, I don't remember if we've seen Savage or not. Yes, she is a Centurion Guard, so she is able to attack multiple targets at once. And Sora is something that we definitely have not seen before. She is a Bard. But yes, she does not attack, but continually restores the HP of all allies within range. The HP restored per second is equal to 10% of, se of self attack. Self is unaffected by inspiration. So yes, bards provide some healing, and they also provide buffs, generally speaking. Yes, the inspiration being the name for the buffs that they provide. But yeah, I haven't looked into Sora much. I chose her just on a whim so we will see how this works out given the lack of a talent i don't know i don't know exactly what she's going to do per se but we will see i suppose she can put enemies to sleep we know that much um hmm so yeah i guess we'll we will see we will see anyway so that's everything I know about the units that we were using, basically. So, let's get to the video game. Operation Originium Dust. Rerun. Alright. So, we might not have time to do much more than a cutscene or two. I do intend this to be a short stream. I am streaming, but I'm not streaming for that long. Operation Lamarck. Magnet Hill Number 2 is a biological evolution lab located in the southern Ural Mountains. Abandoned for years, the lab has been forgotten with the passage of time. Ten days ago, a group of unidentified militants snuck into the lab and began to activate the equipment in the lab. We've arrived at Magnet Hill number two. Repeat, we've arrived at Magnet Hill number two. Yana, Ayla, report the situation on your end. Over. Business as usual, just putting in the finishing touches. Over. Ayla? Yana, enemy incoming. In position. Gemini replicator activated. Mine's deployed. If the intel we got is correct, this should be the last batch. We'll head towards you after we clean up over here.
what she said. Ayla ending communication. So that's the situation. Just sit back and leave it to the poles. I already hear the sound of Guzmat mines going off. It'll be just fine. And you, Blitz, you're supposed to be doing your job, namely standing guard. Whatever you say, ma'am. Pay attention to the meter's readout. The intel shows that there's nuclear waste sealed inside this building. Frost, how far until our objective? After we pass through the checkpoint in the storage room, the main laboratory should be right there. The drones show that merc the mercenaries set up some simple fortifications at and around the checkpoint. No bunkers, no dead ends, the entrance has been sealed shut, and they've laid a lot of barbed wire all around. Their numbers? Nine. Their rough positions have been marked on the team terminal. The entrance of the long corridor leading from the checkpoint into the storage room has been completely sealed, and the drones haven't been able to get in any further. Report complete. Any other entrances? None that I can see. Okay, I'll take care of this. Do you have any suggestions, Lord? I still have some extra incendiary rounds. How many do you need? You should do. Got it. Checkpoint entrance is full of obstruct ob obstacles. Blow it up and the rubble's just going to be in the way. Here's the plan. We'll blast the ceiling and the wall on the right. One of us will repel in from the top and provide cover fire. The rest of us will breach from the right side. Frost, you're on cover fire and support. Understood. Once the charges go off, Tachanka, drop a grenade from up top. The rest of us will throw flashbangs at the designated locations. On the ground, we'll head inside in this order. Blitz, Ash, Tachanka. Look, live, look alive out there. Don't let this opportunity slip away. If you have any questions, it's now or never. You all ready? Good. Take position. Frost, on your mark. That's when we'll begin. I'm heading to position. Reach charge is hot. Explosives ready to go. Ready. Flashbangs. Throwing frag grenade. Move, move, move! Enemy down. Blitz, two o'clock. Frag out. Machine guns, ten o'clock. I'll provide cover fire. The rest of you, move up. Firing breaching round. Fortifications down. There goes the bad guys. Three more, straight ahead. Two. Clear. 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 Everybody okay? Alright, let's keep moving. Frost, watch our six. Gotta love a good bit of tactical, tactical clearing. Understood. I'll open the door. Blitz, stay alert. Tachanka, use the drone and check out the hallway in the storage room status. I am on it. Sure. How's it looking up ahead? The storage room was filled with ammo and supplies. They had been stationed here for some time. There are no hostiles in the storage room, just black crystals on some petri dishes. Is it a threat? Hard to say. What's this stuff inside the cans? Glowing mineral crystals. Never seen them before. Oh boy, do you... Oh boy, is that a threat? Minerals, composites. As long as they're glowing, they might be radioactive. Don't worry. Geiger's not reacting to anything. And let's leave them be and go straight in. Time's a wasting, team. Let's move. Ash, this is Iana. We have just taken care of the enemy, but they have blocked the corridor passage with a lot of obstacles. We have to take a different route to get to the core. Over. We're about to head inside the main laboratory. I need you to come back us up ASAP. Over. Copy. Iana out. What now? 
Shall we wait for them? No, time is pressing. Keep going. Up ahead is the main laboratory. Get ready. We're going in. Stay alert. Subdue the target when you have them in sight. Look alive. Go! There's no one here, just these strange machines. Don't let your guard down. The lab equipment's running, which means that the target is still here. Then we need to head inside the real laboratory. This here is the control room. You see the machines on the other side of that window? That's where the, old, the actual experiments happen. Stay alert. We don't know how many ho hostiles we have here. Well, at least one. I see unwelcome friends will always invite themselves in. Target in sight. Hold your fire. Give me a set rep. Looks like we're the only ones here. No other hostile detected. Put your hands up, Dr. Levi. Move away from the terminal. And here I was wondering how much longer it would take for you to show up. Did you take out my security detail? What a shame. I cut them their last paycheck just yesterday. Well, I ask you to be careful with the things here. They can be delicate. Don't even try to do anything funny. The charade is over. Over? My new experiment has just started. Stop what you're doing. This is your last warning. <laughs> and what if I refuse? What's the matter? Are you afraid of a senile, defenseless, ordinary citizen? You're hardly defenseless or ordinary. You are the chief scientist of the Magnet Hill Number 2 Laboratory, Levi Klitschko. Stay away from the equipment. I know exactly what you're trying to do. Blitz, cut it, cuff him. Understood. I've got to hand it to you. Your team works fast. But not fast enough. Uh-oh. The reactor's activated. The black rocks are glowing. Get it to stop. I'm sorry. I'm afraid not. Get it stopped. Right now. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to stop it, but feel free to fire your weapons. This is my life's work. If it wasn't for those short-sighted, useless morons getting in my way again and again, I would have finished all this 20 years ago. You have no idea what you are doing. The equipment in this lab is in disrepair and you are creating a nuclear contamination disaster. Of course I know what I am doing. The road of exploratory science is a treacherous one. Yet, it's a road worth taking. Roads that lead to the truth are always worth taking. All I am doing now is getting the results I should have had 20 years ago. No one has the right to stop me. Darn mercenaries. Very different look for our familiar friends here. You doing okay? Uh, just complaining a little bit about the close miss just now. Could have regrouped with the rest of the team at the main lab. It's not too late. The checkpoint's right ahead. Uh-oh. What is that sound? An earthquake? No, it's coming from the lab. Get your replicator ready, they might be in trouble. this? Where's... where is everyone? What happened? No, where's the lab? Where's the map? What's with this huge hole? There's no problem with the map. The main lab should be behind this door. The lab's... gone? Up. 
Wake up. Cohen, you okay? Cohen? Let me do it. Um. Well, I'm impressed. I'm just giving her pressure points a few presses to help patch her up. That should do it. What happened? Quite the change of scenery. Alexander, she's awake. Well done. You doing okay, Cohen? Where are we? What happened? That's a good question. After that madman activated his equipment, the whole lab was swept up by a huge shockwave. Where are we? Just where are we? No idea. The target activated that weird device of his and we all got knocked out by the blast. And after we came around, well, this is it. We don't have any signal, so we can't contact Ayla and Yana. The compass isn't working either. The only thing I'm sure about is we definitely aren't anywhere near the mission area. It's hardly the most precise way to put it, but it's like we were teleported somewhere with the whole lab. What? She's right. It's like we were suddenly launched by a rocket to the moon, and that's not a joke. Through a huge crack in the wall, all one can see outside the house is a desolate desert, as if the house had fallen from the sky to the desert. Should I go on recon? No, don't be hasty. Understood. If Levi Klitschko was swept by the shockwave too, he'd probably be in a similar situation. We'll rest up first. I'll plan our next steps. Good news first. The supplies for those mercenaries have been thrown in with us, so for at least a short while, ammo won't be an issue. What about the bad news? The bad news is... What is that? This sound? Eyes open. There's something outside coming towards us. It sounds like some sort of heavy machinery, but it's way too fast. Let me have a look. I can't believe my eyes. We're in big trouble. Prepare for battle. What exactly do you see? Have you ever seen an arthropod as big as a small car? What did you say? Oh, screw it. Now we see it. Open fire. Fire at will. Blitz, get back. Ah! My shield! Normal bullets aren't going to penetrate its husk. If we let that thing tear the control room's wall down, it's all over for us. AP is effective. But shooting its legs isn't stopping it. Let it come in. What? Cease fire. Let it bring the wall down. Blitz, you okay? I'm fine, it's just my shield's busted. It took a good bite out of the wall. Let's be sure to take its husk down when we get our payback. Ash, quick, what's your plan? I'm not sure we can call it a plan, but it's the only choice we have. Your ammo is the only thing we have that's doing any damage to that thing. Plus, my breaching rounds, maybe. And I have... one left. We'll take him down the moment he breaches the wall. Judging by the damage AP's done on that thing, the breaching round should should take its leg down. Hopefully that'll give, it, give us a clean view of its underside. After that, it's going to be all you. If any of you has a better idea, I'm all ears. Alright, time's up. Ready. Reloading. <sighs> it's over. What on earth is this? <sighs> Finally time to take a breather. <sighs> Man, that was close. Is this really Earth? Like, you know, the planet we all know about? No reason to think otherwise. But we need to prepare for the worst. With the wall collapsed, we can't even use this place as shelter. 
Let's get moving, at least until we find another place to hunker down. All right. So, we've got a tutorial here. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do the tutorial right away. Though, eh. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't realize how much of Originium Dust I had already done. Though I guess, yeah, I would have had to do four levels to unlock Tachanka. But yeah. I don't know. I did say that this was going to be a short stream. I'm not sure if I want to be it, it to be this short. But my tiredness is catching up to me. <laughs> hmm. Well, we can do the tutorial at least. So, on the, of the harsh wastelands all over Terra, the deserts of Sargon are perhaps the least suitable for the sustenance of life. The arid and scorching climate, endless sandstorms, and giant monsters are some of the disasters that any prospective traveler will need to overcome. Sandstorm. Allied units caught inside the sandstorm will have reduced attack, continually lose HP, and have extended redeployment time. Enemy units will instead be slowed. Alright. Then let us see what there is to see in the Sargon Desert. Definitely a tile set more familiar to more familiar to us. Where do we even set up here? No time for belly aching. There's another sandstorm up ahead. At least those are more or less the same as the ones we know. Even if they occasionally come with some nasty big critters in them. Be careful and keep your distance from the sandstorm. That storm will damage our weapons, reducing our attack and quickly depleting our stamina. Once HP is fully depleted, redeployment time will be greatly increased. Get to cover, quick! Those dirt mounds make a great good shelter from the sandstorm. They protect a row of tiles behind them from its effects. The storm that intense will wear down those mounds pretty quick. The sandstorm will keep knocking down the dirt mounds until they're all destroyed. Sandstorm is a common weather disaster in Argon and should be evaded if possible. Travelers seek to traverse transverse the barrens may look for large dirt mounds to shelter from sandstorm. However, dirt mounds do not say do not stay solid and will start to crumble under the attack of Sandstorm. Use reinforcements to fortify the nearby dirt mounds to form a shield against Sandstorm. Move! Quickly! Blitz. I do like that they are reinforcing the... reinforcing the dirt mounds with, uh, hammers, it seems. That's fun. So. Alright, I... For some reason, I forgot that Tachanka was a uh, was a guard. You are all deployed. You are all deployed. All right, place another trap there. Can we we can't read we can't reinforce that one. We don't have an angle on it, unfortunately. But we can reinforce this one at least. Laying out the welcome mat. I'm all stocked up. Punch for the blast! Ah, I could have used that to push, I suppose, but it is what it is. Certainly no reason to go light on the traps. Setting up. And then we can... I was going to say we can freeze them in place with Blitz, but we don't Welcome. need to do that. Stay clear of the blast. Very good. And then our friends up top are going to start taking damage shortly from the Sandstorm, but there's not much we can do about that. Welcome that set. Very good, very good. Man, I wish I had this many Welcome maps back when I was playing... <laughs> when I had played Frost. Here come those thony crabs again. Not just one. Fall back, Blitz. Get clear of that sandstorm. Hold up there. The crabs look like the sandstorm's getting to them. It seems it significantly reduces enemy movement speed. Blitz, do you see those pits? 
Metal crabs may be tough, but they don't seem very smart. Try pulling them into the pits, but watch your own feet. Sure, looks like an option. All right, so. Welcome, that set. It seems as though they are going to, or at least one of them is going to walk directly into the pit, which is good for us. What's less good for us is the fact that we are gradually being eroded, but, you know, such is the way of things. Welcome, that set. Very good. I have seen it all. All right, there. He pushed a little bit further. <laughs> But, again, I think I'm going to wrap up early today. But yes, this is, I mean, I don't know. I say early. This is when I plan to wrap up. I just got started later than I had planned, which, you know, it is what it is. I am working on it, but, you know, today I was marred by indecision, unsure if I wanted to start or hold off. But any progress is worth something. So, I'm not going to complain, I'm going to be happy for what we have done, and I will be happy that something has been done at all. So, as per usual, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find a raid target on my own, and in the meantime, we will go over the business. So, tomorrow, we should be seeing another stream, possibly the collab, Possibly more Arknights, we will see. But yes, one way or the other though, um, yes, Saturday we should be seeing some more Arknights. I'll be sure to get plenty of rest on when I have the time in these uh, upcoming hours and days so that I'm not quite so tired when we get around to uh, stream time next stream. Because yeah, definitely... Definitely not used to streaming this much. Definitely not used to streaming this much, considering that I went from streaming two to three days a week, much more often too, to streaming, you know, six days a week on very short notice. It hasn't been as hard to adapt to as I would have thought, but it has taken away a lot of time and made it rather difficult for me to handle other things. Not an, it's not a untenable position, but I do need to work on my time management and my decisiveness if I'm going to make it work. So, one way or the other, the stream has been what it has been, and so, as I am not seeing any raid suggestions, tonight, I think we're going to go and visit Luminous, uh, Lum uh, Luminous Lee, also known as Lumi. Yes, who is playing some Fortnite, it looks like. But yes. So, once again, I will go over the... I was going to say go over the strategy. I guess we don't. There's no strategy here. The schedule, rather. So yes. So, tomorrow, the lab, or something of the like, should be around 9.30pm, or, yeah, somewhere in that area. But yes. Saturday... Should be some more Arc Nights, one way or the other. Um, but yeah, that should also be around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Next week, we'll be doing some more Arc Nights. We'll be doing as much as we need to to get through Originium Dust. But yes. So, given that we've gone through, or I've gone through it before, I'm inclined to think it will probably go faster. But, you know, who knows, actually. <laughs> yeah, again, we definitely... I think we do have fewer days in total that we have access to Originium Dust than we did have access to uh, Lucent Arrowhead, that's what it was called. But yes, so I'm going to have to be perhaps even more diligent, but, you know, I can afford to have a short stream at least, I think. So, anyway. Raid. I almost forgot to set up the raid. Luminously... I don't trust my ability to spell that out uh, very well, so I'm just going to copy and paste. But yes, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell.
Let us get this raid underway.